Sorry for the uh, late start here, but we're all good. We're good to go. It's Ted's birthday special, and we're live here at Ted's home. The Quick Climb Friday had to be aborted today due to the fact that the aerodrome at Lake Eneath is closed. Hope you're all well. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's show at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. Uh, place to see F-15s and F-35s doing their thing at the range. Oh, yeah. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, we are hopefully going to get a birthday treat. We're looking for 9,000 subscribers. Um, I think we've got something special. There is a special thing happening for Ted's birthday. Uh, it will involve me moving to the other side. So another Benny Hill moment. I've got a little video while I'll try and keep the stream going. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. So let's just put the birthday boy on. Ladies, gents and teddy bears, here he is, our uh, very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Happy birthday, Ted. Nice one, brother. Am I allowed to call you that? I guess so. So how you doing, Ted? You all right? Yeah, let's all wish Ted a very happy birthday. issue this morning but it's fine I've sorted it it's all good it's not too late here we go we are hopefully gonna get some uh, lots of takeoffs I am joined by the very man who created the uh, thumbnail Colin Ted Connolly memberships. Very kind of you, thank you very much. Ted Coningsby channel celebrating Ted's uh, our very own squadron leader Ted Coningsby's birthday here he is oh oh it's an early one oh it is so, 
Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, as soon as we get 9,000 subscribers, something special is going to happen for Ted. Come on. We are only a few away. Have we got 12? Honestly, just trust me. The uh, Coningsby, I've set up something for Ted. As soon as we get 9,000. What are we? Are we on 9,000 yet? Four more. Four more to go. And I have under good authority to let you know the RAF Coningsby will be doing something special, so do smash that like button. This is Ted's second birthday, and he's proud to be here at RAF Coningsby, his home. He lives at 29, at 29 I've got something special for Ted. Come on, 9,000 subscribers, and trust me, it's gonna be amazing. Teddy Bears, this is the Ted Coningsby channel. We're live here at Ted's home, RAF Coningsby, a QRA station of the South. You have joined a very unique military aviation channel, bringing you awesome military aviation live to wherever you may be across the world, around the globe. Sorry, flat earth people.
Okay, uh, ladies, gents, teddy bears, do we go across the road? Do we quickly pack? Because Ted's birthday treat is happening earlier, 10 o'clock. Do we do it? Let us know, quick, because I can pack it up and go. <laughs> or do we stay here? I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Hi everyone, I'm Flight Lieutenant Paddy O'Hare and I am the 2022 Typhoon Display Pilot. Hi everyone, it's Ted Coningsby and this is my display. Oh yeah.
can you just confirm if you can hear me because uh, the camera did actually fall off the tripod because I still had it connected so hopefully you can hear me loud and clear and it's all good a bit of mud that's yeah, fine we can deal with a bit of mud so ladies gents and teddy bears we're live here at RAF Coningsby Ted's home and it's his birthday I've made it to Reedham Lane where the light is good Let me know, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, if you can hear me, if the screen is good. Um, we did lose signal for a little bit, but I sorted it, so I hope it's still on for Ted's birthday, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Oh, yeah. Can't believe the camera survived that fall. Cool. Well, I uh, literally bought a five meter HDMI cable, that's dead. That took all the impact and I was a bit worried it killed the uh, camera. But that's fine. It's all good. So this is uh, Ted's birthday, oh yeah, Ted survived that anyway, so that was good. I should have come here first, but I actually thought it was later, it got changed last minute, so never mind, and the light is better over here. I know he's going to be at altitude, but it's a beautiful sky, everyone's happy, oh yeah. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, we hit 9,000 subscribers.
haven't missed any launches. We got round in time. The camera took a batter and it's got mud all over it, but I can deal with that as long as it works. We actually got a couple of times. Yeah, it landed on the HDMI cable before it snapped the inside of it. HDMI cables, bugger. But this is, I got one spares. <laughs> three spares. Need spares. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do this. Teddy Bears, as you guessed it, we have Brighty the Almighty. That's right, we've got a practice display. Oh, yeah. Celebrating our 9,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears. This is how we do it here on the Ted Coningsby channel. We're live at Ted's home. We'll get the birthday boy on. We've got Royal Saudi Air Force, we've got Anarchy One. Cobra Warrior is the Royal Saudi Air Force Typhoons. And there's our, our main man, Matt, Flight Lieutenant Matt Brighty. This year's call sign Anarchy 1, our 2023 Typhoon display pilot. Anarchy 1 ready for departure. Line up and wait, Anarchy 1. Ladies and Teddy Bears, welcome to Ted's. Birthday special. sign for the typhoon display pilot you can also use riot when transiting
Mighty Hawk commences display very shortly. Who's excited? Who's buzzing? Let us know. scorking very shortly his display we were talking about this yesterday actually uh, we'll hear that on the radio i'll leave it on for the display so we'll just uh, wait for the saudi or saudi air force typhoons to depart Ready. Yeah, it'll be about 1500 feet, hopefully less. It's, bit, it's great here, Colin. Have you seen him here yet? Yeah, well, not here, no. Oh, well, you're not? No. If you, if you just, what you, mate, watch out when he gets about oh, where that is. He, he, he dips right, right, doesn't it? Obviously, no. He dips down. About, about there. Right, so we're coming in from there. It's so good. Uh, last time I came was when he had that problem and started and didn't finish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's a great way to start Friday. So uh, Quick Climb Friday was uh, cancelled today due to uh, the aerodrome at Lake Eneath closed. Oh, thanks a lot, Lottie Totty. Happy birthday. It is Ted's birthday today. It's his second birthday. And we're here at his home. It was the only place to be, really. And I had it under good, good uh, authority to announce that uh, should Ted get 9,000, we were going to get a treat for his uh, birthday and we have we are now a 9,000 subscriber and dare I say it we are aiming for 10,000 subscribers how has this happened it's all thanks to everyone just making this community amazing really 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 special just doing a bit of cleaning as I go here the uh Food noises for you for the to please the ears. So it was two years ago today that I did that fun video just over there by Langrick Road. Everyone thought, what? Well, it was, uh, 
it had a bit of mix but mainly predominantly it was all happy vibes um, from everyone and a lot of people were thinking where is this going to go it's coming into the running Okay, so Tao just uh, asked Tanaki one just to hang on for one moment while the uh, Royal Saudi Air Force depart. So we've got four of them. They're part of Exercise Cobra Warrior. So they have been cleared for takeoff.
ladies and gents, teddy bears, I give you Flight Lieutenant Matt Brighty. Anarchy one.
good day, Ted. Performance takeoff, here we go.
did anyone get that display? <laughs> did anyone see that? Um, oh no, so I hope you got to see that display. No worries, because I have recorded it and I can always put it on. Yeah, I'll need to get that HDMI fixed. Anything I can do? No, I need to actually take the camera in. Uh, you took all the impact on the HDMI. Um, I'm not sure. It's fine, I'll, I'll just ask, because I, luckily I recorded it, so I can always just put it on now quickly. Um, it's me hanging, standing around like this, thinking I've got my strap on my lens, and I have. It's alright, uh, let's have a look. Let me see when it cut out, because it cut out at some point. It went black at the very end, died at the end. Oh, okay, cool. That's fine. So where the camera landed on the HDMI, it's pretty loose, very loose, so I'll get that taken in. But I do have a spare camera, so it's all good. Um, I'll edit it quickly and put it on. Right, that's what we'll do. Zoom length on your camera. 600. Oh, it's all oh, because it looks bloody good, you know. When it looks, uh, it I think it's because it's that. in 4K. Uh, so when you put it on a big screen, it gets even yeah. closer. I tend to watch it on my 27 inch my iMac. Uh, looks really good on that. Yeah, well, apparently it's 600. Uh, well, it looks, but it just looks longer than that. <laughs> So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna edit it much. I'm literally just gonna put on the display again for you guys. How's that? Sounds good, isn't it? No worries. Yeah, so the HDMI cable, when Paddy, uh, Paddy? <laughs> when Brighty went up, it kind of come out. Unless I stepped on it, but we'll see. We'll need to get that sorted out. Free performance takeoffs as well. We haven't actually missed anything yet, so that's good. So I'm just uh, gonna rewind. Um, you'll have to let me know at what point it died. Um, I know you're saying the very end, literally when he went up. And that's cool. I'll have to. I hope it wasn't dark for too long. That these things happen. If I, because uh, originally it was twelve o'clock, 
Um, I can see so many likes, uh, super chats, Lottie Totty, thank you, gifted memberships. Um, the Lundy Gruffalo, thank you so much for that. But I'm just uh, working on a replay for you now, so don't worry, you'll get to see it. I'm not even gonna blend it in or edit it, so anything I did, I'll just put it on just so you can see it, because that's how it would have been. And uh, be much appreciated if you could tell me roughly at what time that 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 hang out but that seems to be yeah have a look at that it does seem a bit loose in that hdmi computer yeah, but a lot of people say that was worth it though wasn't it <laughs> oh yeah Excellent. Mighty from Brighty. Teddy Bears were live here at RAF Coningsby, Ted's birthday. Uh, a little bit of a change of um, location. We moved to Crashgate 4. This is Reedham Lane, just to mix it up a bit because the lighting is good for a practice display. the video to compress quickly and I'll put it on for you. This is Ted's birthday special. <laughs> Start off a bit rough with the uh, <laughs> with the um, collapse of the camera. I totally forgot it was still um, attached as I moved everything in the van and it obviously fell off the uh, fell off the tripod. Not a good start to the morning there but no worries got you the action anyway nevertheless. And I was messing about with the settings and I don't know what I did, but I managed to not get onto JPEG. Oh no. <laughs> so, I mean the shots are alright, but I like to edit so I can bring out the sky. I like that. If so you enjoy the like replay, manage to record it you enjoy, I haven't edited it, just and a keep it on. enjoy.
birthday, Ted. I think I just broke my back. Ah, ladies, gents, teddy bears, I hope you all enjoyed that replay of uh, Brighty's display. So welcome to the uh, birthday, Ted's birthday special. We've hit 9,000 subscribers, absolutely awesome. Do hit the likes, do keep hitting those likes, ladies, gents, teddy bears. Let's get this channel to, dare I say it, to 10,000 subscribers. That is an achievement. our squadron leader birthday boy today that was good Ted yeah you sorted it out with Brighty okay cool yep so the plan was uh, if we hit 9,000 subscribers he was going to display for us and we did oh yeah that's the way we're aiming now for 10,000 10, subscribers what a journey it's been Uh, we had some performance takeoffs as well, which were awesome. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. How are we all doing? This is catch up. I can see a lot of super chats on here. Thank you so much, everyone, for that.
Saudi, it's coming back now. That's it, Ted's birthday, ladies, gents, and teddy bears.
I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's uh, that's given us super likes. I'm just gonna read them out. I can uh, just find out for that. That's absolutely brilliant. What a day to uh, celebrate Ted's birthday. Oh yeah. And you're here with us. This is the Ted Coningsby channel. And we're live here at RAF Coningsby. Here is the birthday boy, squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Thank you everyone for tuning in and uh, celebrating Ted's second birthday. Oh yeah, so just want to thank Lottie Totty. That's Christina, thank you so much. Just want to thank the Lundy Gruffalo, thank you so much. And of course, uh, Margot Baxter for the super chats. That's for all threes. Uh, three of you for giving us super chats, some of you more than one. So thank you so much for that from our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, who's uh, <laughs> celebrating his second birthday. What are you off to tonight then, Ted? Okay. Oh, brilliant, you're getting picked up by your dad. Oh, is he here, is he? Oh, excellent, he's watching from the van. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy we have uh, we have Father Ted um, with us today as well to uh, take his little boy out. He must be quite proud of him. So, big shout out to all the parents whose sons and daughters are in the RAF. That's right. Big shout out if you're a parent and your son or daughter is in the Royal Air Force. Big shout out to you. Thank you so much. And of course, why keep it to that? I just want to say a massive respect, a massive shout out to everyone who's a parent that has a son and daughter in the armed forces. Thank you so much. Your sons and daughters and bears do us proud. Thank you. Ted's getting a bit excited by that. It's a busy day. It's a busy Friday here. It's a good substitute for Quick Clyde Friday. Do have more action. It's similar to uh, Runway Zero uh, Six End from um, Lake and Eve here. Look, just reminded me of that. You've got the field and you've got the high fence. <laughs> Squadron uh, Typhoons. I think, it was, I think it caught fire actually. Um, I think it was over in the States.
in use if you uh, are just driving past and you just want to get set up or if you haven't got a scanner it's always a good indicator Radio Nigel, Mayhem Marshy. Very good morning to you, David Mabbit, Dave Mabbit there. Craig Bruce, how we doing? Mayhem Marshy, Robert Clyde, thanks a lot for your birthday wishes to Ted, Dr. Soda. I could just see, yeah, so I, if you need any updates from us, we do put on the, the latest no TEDs that were up, we do put little updates on there, so um, do check that out. I've rescheduled for next Friday, although I've got a feeling it's not going to be open again, but I'll uh, keep an eye on that. <laughs> Rusty Wenzel, uh, TEDs 2 today. Paddy Day, that's probably why I said Paddy by accident, you know. Uh, Yostalista, how you doing? Very good morning to you. Edward Thompson, oi oi. Andrew Wright, hi from Sheffield. Julie Evans, Father Ted, yeah he's here, I'll get him. Julie Evans, we've got Ted's dad here. Nice one, Viv. Big shout out to Viv, who's going for it, bless her. You are a star, Viv. Big shout out to all the mods. White Wizard, how you doing, man? Yeah, White Wizard, sadly, the uh, skimming the van uh, had to get missed today as the aerodrome at Lake Anif is closed. Devaney, how you doing? Dave Mabbitt, Alex Spinks, oi oi! Look to the spotter in a big blue van. Big blue van? Big blue van, what gates he parked at? Unless, oh I think I see it. Yes, there he is. Give us a wave, man. 
Come on, you got to wave. <laughs> oi, oi! Yes, he's waving! <laughs> you are live on the Ted Coningsby channel. So Al that Alex Binks, Lottie Totty, thanks again for more. Just because it's Ted's birthday, thanks so much. Excellent stuff. So we're live here at the uh, Ted HQ. That's RAF Coningsby. And if you can see duck feathers flying around, it's because I've got a hole in my coat and it's slowly, uh, slowly turning into just a um, just a rain jacket. Um, yeah. So I've had two two mishaps today, but that's fine. I can deal with that. I might get chased by dogs or something later. I wonder where they were. Yeah, they're coming from my pocket. That's another tragedy. I'm, I caught it as I've. It's just been one of those days today. So um, I'm gonna have to do the jacket bump. Going mental. So thank you so much Lottie Totty again for Ted's birthday treats. Thank you so much. This is for uh, Lottie Totty. Christina, thank you so much. Um, so I do believe Ted started starring in a... Uh, Ted, Ted, tell us all about what's going on. Um, in, when, when is it Ted? July? What's happening? You're a special guest at a concert? No way, are you? <laughs> so Ted's uh, been asked to be a special guest at a live concert in Lakenheath. Um, at the, is it Wings? At the Methodist Church, there's a live concert and stuff. Is that it, is that Wings? Yes, there's a band called The Wings and um, Ted's going to be a special guest and he will be playing the Joe Satriani summer song. Well, that, <laughs> there you go. Ted's going to be starring at Wembley at some point. And now Ted's just ordering everyone to hit the like. That's right. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Do support the channel. So if you're watching, support, subscribe and do share. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit that notification bell button because it does keep you notified of our latest and greatest videos and of course we haven't talked about the membership yet I did spot quite a number of you giving out um, Ted Coningsby membership so thank you so much for that that's really really kind of you to give them so the Ted Coningsby membership has been set up just basically to help fund our channel um, to help us with kit well I'm probably gonna need a bit of a repair to the camera now but I've got a spare so that's cool so I can still keep the streams streams and dreams going the perks that you get you do get something back for joining the well I, I believe it's the most awesome squadron on YouTube that is um, you'll be able to use the emojis so now's a good time to say get your Ted's out everyone get them out get your Ted's out show off what people are missing if they're not a member come on smash those get them get those Ted's out come on uh, so you'll be able to uh, use your own emojis that we've set up. It's just for the TCS, the Ted Coningsby Squadron. We have our own emojis. Oh, yeah. Um, you'll also be identified as a member by having a badge next to your name. And you'll be able to unlock, this is the cool bit, you'll unlock members-only videos, their deleted scenes, behind the scenes, and just some special videos that we made just for our members. This could be a range of things from exclusive um, footage at Duxford or museum visits, or just some things uh, that I record just for our members only. Um, and of course, Ted does like to star in music videos as well. So have a good treat with that. You'll also be able to take part in members only polls and topics. So if you go to our community, community section, I'll, I'll um, may ask you some what, what your thoughts are and feedback. And finally, uh, because you're supporting us financially, we give you something back. You'll be able to have your very own discount code to use in our, on our online shop. So if you visit www.tedconningsby.co.uk, visit the online shop and have a good time. Oh, speaking of which, I've got some new, uh, I've got new stock come in. I've just got to put it online, I'll show you. So Ted, from me actually, happy birthday, mate. <laughs> so uh, 
these will be out soon. Look at these. <laughs> so new new in. I've got a new batch of these key tags. I'll just show you them. There we go. Remove beret before flight. <laughs> so they'll be available soon. Um, so yeah, enjoy. about five I think unofficially but I will do it I think I think we all agreed I did ask a few people how much the normal ones are like I think they're about a fiver so that's I think that's fair I think they're about five pounds let's keep making okay <laughs> might be a four ship formation as well my dreams coming in as well I kept saying these feathers floating across, don't know where they could be from. I just thought this cat sounded pitchy to some of it earlier. <laughs> Sean Buckingham, thank you so much for joining the Ted Coningsby's Posh Officers Club. Thank you so much for joining the Ted Coningsby Squadron's Posh Officers Club. Nice one, man. Thank you so much. It's getting a bit windy, Ted. Careful that Barrett's. It's a bit stodgy over there. So, Sean Buckingham, thank you so much. Guards March coming up to you, sir. Beautifully done there. So we're all looking forward to the air shows this year. We cannot wait. We've got four this year to go to. And lots of people are interested in having one of those. Sean Buckingham has just joined the Posh Officers Club. Nice one, man. Right, they call me Wingy. I used to be a wing commander, you know. I like to hang around here and just watch our boys and girls of the Royal Air Force. What's this? You want to join the Posh Officers Club? Well, there is a code that we go by. And to join the Posh Officers Club, you have to answer these three things. That's right. So, shall we begin? Okay. So, lots of you already putting the, uh, the code already. So what do we breathe in? That's right. That's correct, it's air. And what normally grows on people's heads? Hair. And where do the lions live? That's correct. In a lair. So, say those three things. Air hell air. You've joined the Posh Officers Club. But to complete your Posh Officers Club, you need to join the Ted Coningsby Posh Officers Club membership. My name's Wingy, and I'm off for a spot of tiffin and a bit of Earl Grey with Ted. Well, cheerio, can't be hanging around all day. Oh, that was wingy there. <laughs> Always bring in a cheer and joy. What else have we got on the show? Oh, we've got the mischievous one, Red Ted. Oh, here he is, Red Ted. He just looks so mysterious. Red Ted, you are right, mate? Oh, <laughs> Red Ted, man.
even said there's a full ship coming. <laughs> oh well. Let's just get this door. I, I even said there was a full ship and <laughs>
I even heard they were coming and I, uh, yeah, never mind. No, I'm going to leave you to it. You off now, are you? Yeah, I'm going to go. Alright, mate. Yeah. You have a good day. Good to see you again. Okay, mate. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, I'll see you shots, shots, mate. Okay. Yeah. If you feel good. Are you alright with those pictures? Are you? Do you want me to send you anything? Yeah, no, I've got the Vulcan. Right. Um, so, do you want to just let me know? Yeah, this, this is the, the book. So it's, uh, we've got a little poem with it. Oh, that's good. And then that was the model to show that the... Because I needed a Vulcan shot yeah. to show... To show the tire Yeah. So there's bits of the book. <laughs> So yeah, you all ran names at the end, you know, all the special thanks yeah. and what page it was. Yeah, all good. Oh yeah. Cool. I get a good view over here. I just wish they brought some other than tight things here. <laughs> a good example when um, the squadron markings aren't always what the squadron uh, pilot is from so you can see the 29 squadron markings on that and that was with the Razor flight and that's 11 fighter squadron Squadron is the world's oldest dedicated fighter squadron. And in 1915, there's a dedicated fighter squadron. And you can see it here with uh, 29 squadron markings with the triple X. So 11 fighter squadron like to use Roman numerals. It's just pure tradition, that's all it is when uh, some use traditional numerals. And other squadrons use the Roman. Just, just tradition factors, that's all it is. And speaking of Triple X. Just coming now into land. One squadron markings. <laughs> you just had a good portrait shot there, Colin. I was gonna say, you are live. Uh, I, I've got a photo bomber here, Lady Shen. He's be. I think he's. He wants to just be live on our <laughs> channel. Bless him. A uh, very good friend of ours, uh, Colin, and uh, who's um, who's the main man for the thumbnail? Oh yeah. What? Got the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not burning. Not burning. Oh, something's cooking. Start to hook slowly.
Right, I've got to go. All right, mate, you take care. And you. See you later, Colin. <laughs> Once again, Colin makes a little appearance there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take care, man. So, ladies, friends, teddy bears, this is the Ted Coningsby channel. We're live here at Ted's home. RAF Coningsby. Oh. Well, I've had a right old day today, so that was Punisher 1 2. My apologies. It's just fun. Take care, man. See you later. That was 41 Squadron. <laughs> there is Triple X flight somewhere out there. I'll have a quick look. want to say a massive thank you to everyone wishing Ted a happy birthday thanks everyone for joining us yesterday at the uh, weapons range Whole beach, that was a bit of fun that, that was really good. exciting times as we've just uh, as you know today we beat the target of 9,000 subscribers how awesome is that on our way to 10,000 can you believe that 10k subscribers that's awesome that is such an achievement I'm telling you we've worked hard for it must admit but it's paid off
So I hope you're all having a good Friday, a great way to spend sort of like the prelude, like the build up to your weekend. I hope you're all having a good time. Like uh, we usually have our uh, Quick Climb Friday show, but it's had to be aborted to RAF Coningsby, but it is Ted's birthday. So Lake and Eve Aerodrome closed today. And we've had to come here. Well, I say had to, it's uh, Ted's choice, Ted's birthday. What a great place. Give that subscribe. Come on, do st keep smashing the subscribe. Come on, 990 to go. So we've got the countdown now for 10,000 subscribers. Come on. It is very possible. 10K by Easter. Someone said this. I know Gaza, Gaza, and a few, a few others. Um, White Wizard also mentioned this a while ago. This was, I think, when we were. This is when we only had about 7k. The way it was climbing, it's it's a very fast built uh, built-in channel. It is climbing. Skim that like. Oh, I love that. Skim that like. Let's get the Ted's out as well. Let's skim the van. That is very true, White Wizard. The birthday show did. So maybe, um, okay, so, all right, I've just found, oh, that's what it is, I reckon. That is what it is, White Wizard and everyone on here, the Ted Ponsby channel. So, Lake and Eve Aerodrome. So RF Lake and Eve has is closed today, and do you know why? They've gone out to celebrate Ted's birthday. I mean, how brilliant are the United States Air Force 48 Fighter Wing for uh, closing the aerodrome? so that they can uh, go and celebrate Ted's birthday. I mean, how cool is that? Thanks so much, 48 Fighter Wing. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be exactly what it is. Uh, it just, just occurred to me. I was thinking it, there must be something going on. I mean, I know there's St. Patrick's Day, but now. Nah. Bowlers, guns up, yes. Hell yeah, brother. From 1K in two weeks, that's it. Skim the broom over 10K. Come on, do support it. Hey, looks like I'll have to go and get this camera repaired now. Don't. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the HTMI, basically where it landed, it landed on the HTMI lead, falling off the uh, tripod and took all the impact. Um, and I think when Brighty went vertical, um, the, the the HDMI cable was so loose on the camera, it just lost a bit of there. But luckily I recorded it.
Happy birthday, Ted, mate. Hey, oi. Are you all right there? Now, how are you doing there? My name's Reggie. Just come to just check out, see what's going on here. Just finding things here. See what's going on. I'm just uh, just looking out for very mischievous uh, people around here now. Just making sure that uh, everything is all good there now. My name's Reggie, part of the uh, RAF regiment. Just making sure that everything is all right there now. Out there now. Gonna go and have a look over here. <laughs> oh, those two crack me up. Yeah, that's right, I was just having a look. Yeah, it wasn't long ago, we got 8,000. It was only a couple of weeks ago. I think you're right, but I think it was three weeks ago, but still, three weeks, 1,000 subscribers.
City Bears. We're live here at RAF Coningsby for Ted's birthday. Little birthday treat for everyone. We had Anarchy one. Beautiful. We had a couple of uh, free performance takeoffs as well. Stunning. the almighty what a brilliant display for Ted it certainly was uh, triple x 1-1 that's correct RT uh, recovery Alex Finks our man over there on the van Spent his birthday here last year. Oh yeah. I did my birthday here as well this year. day what a great day not only on Ted's birthday did we get anarchy one but it was a special treat that should Ted get 9,000 today there was going to be a practice display by our very own call sign anarchy one lots of people have been asking me about blackjack it is at lossy at the moment I can tell you we'll have as far as I know another season with that livery and then possibly next year will be the uh, Ted Coningsby's uh, idea Oh yeah, we look forward to that. We've got our very own Volk Foon idea. We've submitted all the designs and special special thanks to uh, Fred Ted for helping us build the model of our proposal for the uh, next year's Typhoon livery. You never know, they might use it.
progress. Just need one more decking to put on and we're all good to go and I'll be at there. Freedom Lane, by the way, if you're interested in coming here. The lighting's perfect for, for photography here. Really good spot. Um, which is hence the move. Although next time I'll remember that everything's still attached before I uh, make a little Benny Hill moment. See what else is in the skies at the moment. I think that's them all back. Let's have a look. It was an absolutely smooth landing that, that was gorgeous.
all doing. Hope everyone's gonna have a good weekend. Wishing you all a very special Friday afternoon. Well, it might not be afternoon where you are, but thanks for tuning in and watching the Ted Connorsby channel. Happy birthday from Gutesla, Germany. Thanks a lot, Frank. From Frank Warszynski. Warszynski, is that right? Christopher Carr, hope you're well, man. Ed Custard, how you doing? BAL, how you doing? up in the air I believe I think 41s are up still 41 squadron I'm sure there's one still up there Smashing them likes, nice one, Margo and Viv working hard. So this is our Ted uh, squadron leader, Ted Coningsby's uh, birthday special. And here he is. <laughs> you thought I was going to leave that map on <laughs> I actually thought hang on a minute I think I've left that map on oy, oy. so thanks so much what's that join with Delta okay triple x one two okay Ted let's go mate in military only that's how we do it speaking of which oh look at this this is coming in fast ladies gents teddy bears watch this just sit back relax this is going to come in fast hang on here we go
hareketler. Yeah, call sign Punisher. We still got airborne at the moment. Hopefully, the uh, they're about eight minutes out. So if you can hear those horns, they are actually typhoon horns. The typhoon does actually have a horn. <laughs> that is correct. Don't forget, still to come on the show, we've got Ted's dad. No one's met him yet. It's Father Ted. He's coming soon. We are on a bit of a road trip next week for those uh, interested. We are heading to Dunmail Rays, a low flying area in the Lake District known as LFA17. Looking forward to that. And then we'll return to Ted's home, RAF Coningsby, <laughs> for Tuesday. And then we're hoping 
well, we'll see what, what we'll, we'll get the feelers out, but we're looking at possible Cobra Warrior on the Wednesday. If not, we'll go to Scampton and hopefully catch some red arrows. That does sound like a very good idea, doesn't it, Ted? Yeah? Oh, yeah. And then Thursday, possibly go to Hull Beach Air Weapons Range to hopefully see some uh, aircraft blowing up and shooting stuff. I know yesterday was quite exciting with F-15s and F-35s there. Beautiful flying manoeuvres that we've seen. Uh, unfortunately, they were dry or at least they were just firing lasers. So that was a bit unfortunate on that part. And then, of course, quick climb Friday as well. So we've got a bit of everything there. And then slowly, slowly, I'll start to get bits for the van and try and get that up and running so we can get up there. But we've got some safety harnesses as well. And then eventually there'll be like a safety railing to go around as well, collapsible. It's all good. So very happy birthday to our very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Who's having a marvellous day at home at Ted HQ, RAF Coningsby. Used to be home to the Vulcans as well as the Phantoms and Tornadoes. Quite an inquisitive bay, he likes to look around, see what's going on, and make sure he likes to do his checks. shortly now grill that like button yeah come on 500 likes
be sporting the twin seater. Yeah, so the, it's nicknamed the family version typhoon here. Uh, for those that want to know that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Royal Saudi Air Force still here. They've uh, they've all come back to, on their sortie. Entered the uh, aerodrome with a beautiful full ship formation break. Yeah, too right. I mean, the, the community that we've built on this channel is just immense. It's just so amazing. I'm really grateful for that, and that's all down to you guys. So thanks for making it as awesome um, as it is, because it's just phenomenal the way this channel has just grown massively. And you're right, um, which is why, you know, it's really important just to get the stream going, get, get the vibes going. It was a bit of a late start for me, and my day got emotional. <laughs> but it's, it is what it is when you're dealing with equipment you know and stuff like that and you've got to make these these choices and decisions um i was listening out for atis as well and originally it was for 12 30 or 12 o'clock the display um but hey they uh, didn't didn't expect her to get that so quickly eh? <laughs> right visual here we go circuit clear I left that map on again. <laughs> oh dear, I'll get, I'll get better and better, don't worry. I had this really funny feeling that I left it on and that could have just ruined the whole thing. Yep, all that will change as soon as I got that, um, got the old stream van going, the Ted Mobile with all the kit on, and that should be all good to go. I got some uh, securing uh, points that I can lock the tripod on that kind of thing as well 
harness for myself. Uh, the only worry is Ted's Berry. Once that goes, that's it. We ain't getting that back um, <laughs> very shortly. So I might have to come up with a plan for that. Lots of you gifted memberships today. I'm so proud of you lot. So proud of my TCS community. The weather's not looking good for next week. Yeah, tell me about it. Does Ted want to go parachuting? Well, do you know what? Funny you should say that because um, I remember the the, the Falcons, um, the parachute display team. We're interested in doing that with Ted, but never. I did did get get in contact with them, but they are very busy. So. Um, that would be awesome. Ted with the Falcons. your jokes at the moment aren't you david cooper welcome to the ted coningsby channel gifted by lottie totty thank you chris match how you doing man yeah exactly well said chris match um with our we just ask for simple things it's a family channel just keep it sweet keep it neat you know how it is jokes are welcome again just uh, follow the process it's family Davy obsessed with chocolate orange. Oh, I didn't know. I walked into that. I thought it was a joke. Uh, I thought it wasn't a joke. But you were just trying to tell me something. Hundred foot practice. Um, that'll be next month, uh, Chris. April when it will start to see him drop down. He's got his PDA in May. So what will happen is, so this this includes all uh, display pilots they, they you can't just take a jet and go and display somewhere this is which is why they don't advertise that this is a I mean it is a practice display they cannot because you'll have you'll start to have um, health and safety officers coming here if you're going to advertise it as a display but the pilot needs a what's called a PDA a public dis display authority which gives the pilot the um, all clear to display at certain venues wherever so once you've got once you've passed your PDA and you've got that then you can uh, wear the black suit and uh, pilot suit and start um, displaying at venues however this is the reason why the red arrows practice day in day out because you have to display you can't go 10 days it, consecutively without a display all right which is it's not the case for this this is the this is the process to make sure that you're going to uh, become a, a display pilot but once you've got your PDA and pass which there'll be a specific day this will be in May for Brighty if he passes then he can display his typhoon but he must display within a 10 day period um, so if he goes 10 days without display he will lose his public dis display authority and therefore won't be able to display at air shows at all end of so which is why the red arrows will practice all year round which is very important for them because during spring the weather can be emotional especially march as we've seen here but they've persevered here but they will do uh, spring hawk as an exercise for the red arrows to go to another country to carry out their um, display practices in environments that are a bit more consecutive with the weather <laughs> a bit more reliable that kind of thing so this is why not to get confused with the 10-day display because Brighty can display as a uh, practice as much as he wants but you cannot dis uh, um, it's fine at the moment but once he gets his PDA he has to make sure there is no long longer than 10 days without display or shall we say practice so all is good that includes the um, the Battle of Britain Memorial flight pilots as well to be able to display it's all to do with um, not only that physical there's um, medicals that needs to be undertaken that kind of thing so it's it just these sort of things just don't happen overnight might even get special um a paired synchro display hopefully again like a typhoon and hurricane or typhoon and spitfire beautiful
<laughs> I love that TCBU Ted Coningsby beret unit that would be quite funny that the beret unit I do love that that's great Viv nice one Again, thank you very much for doing that. It's brilliant. Hit the lights for brightest display. Yes, definitely, Marco. Silet is White Wizard gone? I'll take care, buddy. <laughs> take Mrs. Wizard to work. Well, have a good time, man. Thank you so much, White Wizard. Always, I mean, behind the scenes, and there's a lot of you that do this. Um, there's a couple of members that are um, just behind the scenes funding this channel, um, left, right and centre. So big shout out to you, you two, <laughs> all three. Um, you know who you are. So thank you so much. So White Wizard and Margot, thank you for that. Absolute stars, just doing what you can to help the channel. Margot, haven't heard back from the Benevolent Fund yet. We, the, the book's ready to print, darling. So it's a case of what, uh, do we, can we go without the logo? We'll have a little chat when uh, later on. So I've had a I've had a funny day on Ted's uh, birthday. So ripped a hole in my jacket, uh, lost a peep. This was the actually this this was the uh, reason for the delay. I lost the, um, the quick release um, plate for the tripod. Um, you know when you know you've packed it and you haven't. Well, I don't know. It's probably at home on the uh, on the stairs or something. I'll have a little look at that. <laughs> Doll. Oh well, good excuse to go shopping and get a spare. Um, but I will need to go and repair this camera. Just can't have that. It's, it's quite. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. It's a bit loose. But I hope you're all good. And I think that I think that's it now. I think they're all home. Titan Five Nine. Yeah, I thought it was a Voyager. Teddy bears. I've um, I've got a very special guest here. Um, never appeared on the Ted Coningsby channel before, um, but he is very important to Ted because we've got his father on there. So we're going to meet uh, Father Ted. Here he is, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. You must be proud of your son, Father Ted. Should we get him on the show? So ladies, gents, teddy bears, this is Father Ted. It's uh, our squadron leader's very own 
father and uh, who surely must be proud of his son. They do look alike. <laughs> There you go, a little bear hug. Okay, Father Ted's just going now. I'll do for <laughs> So, uh, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, I think that is it for the day. Um, we'll have to uh, get some sort of uh, ending going on here. expensive ones as well today so yeah thanks for everyone who's drawing Ted on his birthday celebrations Ladies, gents, teddy bears, all gone quiet. So Ted's uh, just going to do his goodbye, and it's been a wonderful show. So thanks everyone for uh, joining us on this wonderful day of our very own squadron leader's birthday. Absolutely fantastic stuff, and I'm sure he'll uh, do a lovely, lovely goodbye to everyone. So thanks everyone for joining. <laughs> Nice one, Ted. That was the Royal Air Force anthem, the uh, Royal Air Force March Pass, written in 1918. And it's the official anthem of the Royal Air Force. So just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's tuned in today. Ah, oh, yeah. Ladies, gents, Teddy Bears, this is the Ted Coningsby channel. And uh, we're celebrating Ted's Con Coningsby's birthday, our very own squadron leader. What a day it's been. I'm wearing the uh, Top Ted hoodies. I'm going to get them on as well very shortly for everyone to purchase. They'll be available in black or navy blue as well. Oh, big happy birthday to this guy here, our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. So just thanks everyone for uh, for watching. It's been, a, it's been a good show. It's been really good. We've had a good time. Um, fantastic display from Brighty. 
it's been superb we've had some performance takeoffs today and um, massive respect to everyone that's gifted Ted Coningsby memberships as well it's been an absolutely great show today it's been superb and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it got a few things to sort out with the kit oh dear <laughs> but they're gonna happen naturally these things are gonna happen so it you know you just learn that's why you have spares I do have a spare camera luckily so while I get this one repaired I can just uh, get the other one going so it's been great and I hope to see you all next week and uh, do enjoy uh, your weekend so for the last time of the day oh yeah happy birthday Ted oi, oi. come on Ted Gotta go and get some salmon, mate. Got a salmon pie for your birthday.